Hello and good morning, students. A new module that we'll talk about today will teach us about the contributions of outstanding people in the field of art from all over the world, including the Philippines, where we live. Then we get ready for activities that will help you grow as students. Our topic is uh, about the artists and artisans, production process, medium, technique, and curation. We have uh, objectives. In this lesson, students are expected to complete the following tasks. You need to value the true meaning of arts, medium, and techniques. And then you will enumerate the basis of medium and then the last one is enumerate the mediums of visual arts the sculpture and of course the music now in this uh, objectives we included the people who are involved in this uh, module okay this is your pre-test uh, we have two essays answer briefly but concisely so number one, what traits can you use to characterize the characteristics of various modern art forms? And number two, what are some of the regional initi initiatives of methods for preserving and promoting contemporary arts? Class, again, you need to answer this question briefly but concisely. You need to answer direct to the point. Okay, as we begin, let's start the lesson with the definition of medium. So the word medium, which comes from the Latin word medium, denotes the means by which an artist communicates his idea. It is the stuff out of which he creates a work of art. These are the materials which the artist uses to translate his feelings or thought into a beautiful reality. So this may be pigment in painting, stone, wood brick, concrete, and various building materials in architecture, steel, marble, bronze, and wood in sculpture, sound in music, and words in literature. On the basis of medium, the arts are primarily classified as visual and auditory. Okay, in our previous lesson, we discussed already the definition of visual and auditory, but uh, let us discuss again this uh, topic, which is uh, to define the definition, the perfect definition of visual and auditory, so that you can understand well our uh, new topic, which is uh, uh, the production of uh, uh, arts. So in the visual, uh, the visual or spaces are those whose mediums can be seen and which occupy space. Ibig sabihin, class, nakikita natin ang mga artifacts na ito. And then, nakikita natin, for example, we have chairs, we have blackboards in, in the classroom, we have windows. Pag yung mga nakikita natin dyan, those are the visual arts. And these are grouped into two classes. The first is the dimensional or two dimensional arts which include painting, drawing, printmaking, and photography. So the community planning, industrial design, and the crops like ceramics and furniture making. So those are the uh, example of visual arts. Now, the auditory is or time arts are those mediums that can be heard and which are expressed in time. So these are music and literature. So... Uh, we are focusing on the visual and auditory arts in this lesson. So that combined arts are those whose mediums can be both seen and heard, and this exists in both space and time. So pag kumakanta tayo, we are uh, writing, composing uh, songs. These are auditory. Uh, hindi ibig sabihin na auditory yan ay naririnig lang. Ang auditory din ay including literature. Bakit? Kasi example, uh, for example, we have the Romeo and Juliet na story. We included this as part of auditory because they uh, 
are uh, telling this in the radio station. They are telling this in the television. So, ibig sabihin, uh, for telling stories. So, uh, hindi lang siya music, okay? Now, the artist and his mediums. Ano ba yung mediums ng artist? The artist thinks, feels, and gives shape to his vision in terms of his mediums. When an artist chooses his medium, he believes that this can best express the idea he wants to convey. So most often, an artist employs more than one medium to give meaning to his creator production. Oftentimes, the matter of selecting the medium depends entirely on the artist himself since this is a part of the artistic inspiration. So the distinctive character of the medium determines the way it can be worked on and turned into work of art. So the nature of each medium determines how a work of art may be realized. Okay, these are the finished product of the artist. And then we are going to uh, see and then criticize. No, na hindi criticize na bigyan ng uh, bad uh, comments, but to give definition uh, through the uh, artworks. Right. We have also the artist in the world and in the Philippines. So I have two examples here. We have Abrek Durer. Okay, he was apprenticed to a goldsmith and he eventually became one as well. Later in life, he changed his major to visual arts. Kasi nakita niya na may future siya pala sa visual arts. So one of the most important aspects of his work was his dedication and interest in scholarship, which he demonstrated by attending a number of friends, uh, gatherings, including this, those that discuss practical artist skills that would be valuable to other artists and craftsmen who dared to read it. His works, which mostly dealt with perspective and human proportion, were written in the first-person singular language, were practical in nature, and were accompanied by drawings. So, yung pag nakikita natin yung picture, uh, ini-invite niya yung mga friends niya to attend the exhibit. And then, doon nakikipinapakita niya yung mga visual artifacts na kanyang ginagawa. And that is good example because in uh, exhibiting our artworks, uh, people will appreciate it and give some comments and then we will learn from those comments. And then, the next exhibit again, uh, we have also uh, we will we can improve our uh, art artworks okay number 2 we have uh, howard s becker uh, art world 1982 he asserted that like all humans act human actions all artistic effort includes the collaboration of a group of people perhaps a large one as a result of their teamwork the artwork we see or hear is created and maintained. So the art world as well, we call it, is constantly filled with the spirit of cooperation. As I have said before, uh, ganun din si Howard S. Becker. He invites people to see his artworks and then through their cooperation, uh, through their uh, participation, cooperation, and then commendation. And, uh, of course, that can uh, motivate the artist on how to improve his artworks. Okay? And that is a good idea. Like, for example, if to you students, uh, we need comments of other people so that you will improve your uh, skills in terms of art okay most especially the visual and the auditory art of course so we have also uh, artists in the philippines not only 
uh, from other countries, but we have also uh, artists in the Philippines. We have Gawad sa Manilikha ng Bayan or the National Living Treasure Award. So, was created in 1992 under the Republic Act No. 7355. So, under the jurisdiction of National Commission for Culture and the Arts, Gawad sa Manilika Award is for Outstanding Artistic in Music and Poetry. We have three. We have Ginaw Bilog, uh, the first picture, uh, a master of the Ambahan poetry. Number two, we have uh, Sino Intaray, a master of various traditional musical instruments of the Palawan people, the second picture. And we have Samaon Sulaiman, a master of the Kutchabi and other instruments. Yun yung mga instruments nila. So, ibig sabihin, uh, they are more on auditory arts. Yung mga nabigyan ng award ng Gawad sa Manilika Awardees. So, now, what is the definition of technique? Technique is a manner in which the artist controls his medium to achieve the desired effect. It is the ability with which he fulfills the technical requirements of his particular work of art. It has to do with the way he manipulates the work of art. It has to do with the way he manipulates his medium to express his ideas. Apparently, artists differ from one another in technique even if they use the same medium. So an, an example is the method of Gowak, an opaque watercolor painting the major effects of which are caused by the water white paper itself. So, sorry, the pronunciation of this one, G-O-U-A-C-H-E, is gouache. Okay? The gouache is done by mixing zinc white with the regular watercolor paints to tone them down, giving the appearance of sobriety suitable for dramatic purposes. So, these are the techniques on how to create uh, better and uh, pleasing artworks. I provided already the pictures as an example. We have fresco. This is the painting on a moist plaster surface with colors, color grounds, ground in water or a lime water mixture. The colors dry into plaster, and the picture becomes a part of the wall. Fresco must be done quickly because it is an exacting uh, medium. So, okay, nakalagay sa wall yan and then nilalagay yan. So, mas maganda siguro pag actual na tinitingnan natin ang mga ito. So, you need to search on YouTube on how to do fresco so that you will understand it well. We have also the tempera. Paints are mineral pigments mixed with egg yolk or egg white and or They are often used as a binder due to its film-forming properties and rapid drying rate. Okay, mas common sa atin tong pastel. This is a stick of dried paste made of pigments ground with chalk and compounded with gum water. Its colors are luminous. And, is, and it is a very flexible medium. Some artists use a fixing medium or a protecting surface such a glass, but when the chalk rubs, the picture loses some of its brilliance. So be careful in doing pastel artworks kasi napaka-sensitive yan. Madali lang siyang maalis. Uh, natry naman natin tong pastel art, art making na ito, di ba? During our high school. We have also encaustic. This is one of the one of the early mediums used by the Egyptians for the paint, painted portrait on mummy cases. So this is done by painting with wax colors fixed with heat. Painting with wax produces luster and radiance in the subject, making them appear at their best in portraits. Okay. So we have oil. Uh, painting is one of the most expensive art activities today because of the prohibitive cost of materials. Mahal masyado ito. 
So, mahal yung mga materials na binibili in oil painting. So, in oil painting, pig pigments are mixed with the linseed oil and applied to the canvas. So, one good quality of oil paint as a medium is its flexibility. So, the example is here. The artist may use brush, palette knife, or even his bare hands when applying paint in his canvas. So, in some cases, we do not even notice the artist strokes because the paint is applied very smoothly. So, be careful in doing this one. So, one distinctive characteristic of oil paints compared with other mediums is that they dry slowly and the painting may be changed and work over a long period of time. So, painting done in oil is glossy and lasts long. So, matagal na gawin ito kasi, di ba pag oil, bas medyo uh, basang-basa. So, you need to wait na ma-dry para matapos na ito. We have also the acrylic. So, this medium is used popularly by contemporary painters because of the transparency and quick drying characteristics of water color, and the flexibility of oil combined. So this synthetic paint is mixed with acrylic um, emulsion as binder for coating the surface of the artwork. Acrylic paints do not tend to break easily, unlike oil paints which turn yellowish or darker over a long period of time. Just like oil, matagal din ito. So it's a combination of oil and acrylic. Okay? We have also mosaic. Art is a picture or decoration made of small pieces of um, uh, inlaid colored stones or glass called tesare, which most often are cut in the squares glued on a surface with plaster or cement. So mosaic is usually classified as painting. Although the medium used is not strictly pigment, Mosaic art is an important feature of Byzantine churches, a prominent religious artwork in Manila done in mosaic is found in the altar of Santa Cruz Church, showing a wounded white lamb symbolizing Christ with the stream that flows down strictly to the tabernacle. Ayo, ito, yun ang example. At isa rin tong prinobite ko na picture tong cut. Ito rin yung isa. So, maraming mosaic na makikita. Okay? Uh, even in the, uh, pag pumupunta kayo sa cathedral, mayroon ding mosaic dyan. Mga pag nag observe kayo, yung mga glass-like, those are example. And even the United Church of Christ in Tabuk City, sa Dagupan, ay magsaysay, I should say. Sa altar, may mosaic din doon. Okay, we have stained glass as an artwork is common in Gothic cathedrals and churches. Example, oo nga, hindi pala sa example dito ay uh, sa UCCP din, meron sa altar. Ano? Makikita pag pumapasok kayo sa mga churches, mga mga glass. Uh, okay, we have tapestry. This is a fabric consisting of a wrap upon which colored threads are woven by hand to produce a design. Often pictorial and four wall hangings and furniture covering. During the Middle Ages, they were hung on the wall of palaces and in the cathedrals and festive occasions to provide warmth. Uh, waving in Lubwagan also, example ng tapestry. Eh, marami. Okay? We have also drawing, yung mga mahilig kay Naruto na nanonood sa drawing ng galing si Naruto, yung manga making. Okay? Yun ang example na using pencil. And then, uh, combination of color. Okay? We have also bistre. is a brown pigment extracted from the suit of wood and often used in pen and wash drawings. Okay? We have also the crayons. Very basic naman sa atin ang crayons class. Uh, Example nito ay ito. Okay? They adhere better on paper surface. Good for paper lang ang uh, color, ay crayons to make an art. Hindi siya pwede sa, sa wall kasi ma mahirap yan. We have also charcoal. Pag, nag, sinong, pag may mga nakikontest sa inyo sa charcoal, uh, these are the uh, carbonaceous materials. Okay? Sa, pag, sa pagdrawing. For example, this, the, the, the eye. 
We have also silver point in this medium. The artist has technique of drawing with a silver stylus on a specially prepared paper. Okay? Ito yung mga ginagamit. A grayish line that was popular during the Renaissance period. So we have also printmaking. Uh, sino na nakatry nito? Nagpiprint tayo. Paint is anything printed on a surface that is a direct result from duplicating process. Okay? Uh, alam, very common sa atin ng mga ito. Okay, we have also the five major types of prints under the printing. Woodcut, uh, as the name implies, is made from a piece of wood. The design stands as a relief that remaining surface of the block being cut away. A wood block prints just as do the letters of a typewriter. So the lines of the design are wood, so they are very fine. Woodcuts can be identified because of their firm, clear, and black lines. Oh, diba? Napakagaling. We have also engraving. This is the art of forming designs by cutting corrosion by acids. In engraving, the lines of the designs are cut into a metal plate with ink and transferred from the plate to the paper. So, from plate, tapos ipalakat mo yung paper, and then may kwansyan. May alis jay, may tara transfer yung uh, ginawa mo. So the lines of the engraving are cut by hand with instrument called burin. Okay? Then, handle for carving stone and engraving metal. Intaglio is a printing process in which the design or the text is engraved into the surface of the place or the ink. Okay? Ipalkat mo mat lang di eh. Ano? So the design is engraved or etched into a metal plate. Okay. We have also stencil printing. Ayan. Magandang artwork ito. Ipapagawa ko ito sa mga activities ninyo soon. Stencil making and printing. So we have also relief. Ayan. Parang pare-pareha sila. Pero magkakaiba lang. Involves the cutting away from a block of wood or linoleum. The parts of the design that the artist wants to be seen. So leaving the portion of a design to stand out wants to be seen. So, leaving the portion of a design to stand out on a block or on a denolium. Okay. Color prints are made by preparing separate block for each color to be used. It is important that only the parts to be printed with the precision are on the proper area. Okay. So, yung stencil printing, meron siyang uh, uh, in-cut mo dahil yung eh. You cut it and then you put the color, and then I combine it. We have the mediums of sculpture. There are a number of materials available for a sculpture to work with according to the artist. Number one, stone. Number two, granite, marble, jude. Okay. Tingnan yung mga yan. Ivory. Metals, bronze, brass, copper, gold and silver, lead, plaster, clay, glass, wood. Okay? These are the examples of uh, the mediums of sculpture. The mediums of music for auditory. Basically, music deals with the sound. The mediums of music, music is the sound. So, the medium of music produced by man and the human voice and by most musical instruments. The musical instruments which have a vibrator and a resonator and a system for producing and regulating fixed pitches are grouped into four main types. Stringed, woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments. So we these are the example of string instrument. Violin, the cello, the viola. Okay? These are the cello, the double brass, the harps, the guitar. Okay? Ito yung mga example ng string instrument. Ibig sabihin, yung mga yung, yung, yung string, like guitar. Ano? 
ay very common naman ang mga ito. In the woodwinds naman, the woodwind instruments consist of tubes usually made of wood which have holes on the sides. When one or another of these holes is opened or closed, air inside the tube is changed, thus producing tones of varied pitches. The keys are set and arranged to suit the natural position of the fingers of the musician while he plays the instrument. Di ba ang galing ng tao na gumawa ng mga ganitong instrument to produce a sound? Okay? Okay? These are imagination before. Pero because of imagination and creativity, uh, nagagawa, naging imposible. Naging posible ang mga ito. Example is the flute, the clarinet, the piccolo, the oboe, the boson, the saxophone. Okay? Those are the example of woodwind instrument. Okay. Uh, in the brass instruments, the brass instruments consist of cylindrical brass tubes of varying length. Example, trumpet. Mga malalakas ito, kahit malayo ka, ay naririnig ang sound nito kasi malalakas. Pang malayuan ang instrument na ito. The horn, the trombone, the tuba. Okay? We have also in the percussion instruments, the word percussion simply means the striking of one body against another with some sharpness. The striking or tapping or scratching of the instrument with the hand generates some excitement and enlivens the orchestral sound. So the chimes is a musical instrument. Like for, ito yung example, the cymbal the xylophone, the kettle drum, the percussion. So, ginagamit ito during uh, drum and lyre competition. Prepared activity class. So, the direction is try to respond to the essay question below in this module. So, in a few words, yet in a clear and briefly. Okay? What, number one, what is the artist's role in 21st century society in your opinion? Number two, how important are the national artists and Gamaba prizes, not just to the art community but also to Filipino culture as a whole? Number three, cite the national living treasure artists, okay, or gawad sa manilikang bayan and their contribution to the contemporary art. In the ten artists, please include the uh, national living treasure artists in Kalinga. In Cordillera, okay? Uh, I must emphasize nyo sila. Ex number four, explain the responsibilities of Filipino artists and their contributions to contemporary art. So give at least two artists in each of the following categories. We have literature, film, dance, theater, music, architecture, creating design for the fashion industry. Good luck and God bless, class.